In my Monroe Scholars project, I set out to answer some interpretive and evaluative questions about Hegel's science of logic. Coming in at more than 700 pages, the logic is the longest and most detailed work on a single topic by the German idealist philosopher Hegel, a topic he calls logic. The main overall interpretive question I set out to answer was what it even means to be logic in Hegel's sense, that is, what Hegel is even doing in the logic. Interpreters debate this subject. Uh, Stephen Holgate, for example, take takes it to be an imminent analysis of being itself, beginning from pure being, simple thatness or isness, and proceeding by an imminent argument which uses nothing beyond what's already available at a given point in the logic to, as it were, derive new ontological categories, such as finitude, determinacy, causation, substance, concept, life, etc., and justify a certain conception of them. Robert Pippin, by contrast, takes the work to be an account of all possible forms of account giving and, and sense making, an account of how things could possibly be intelligible. For him, the procedure is, of the logic is not an imminent derivation in the way that Holgate describes, but rather consists in showing that each form of rendering things intelligible fails to be fully intelligible on its own, requiring us to move to the next stage of the logic to correct this inadequacy. In the end, I landed somewhere between Holgate and Pippin. Among the various interpreters I read, Holgate's interpretation is the one I found most corroborated in the text. Hegel, for example, refers to the logic's argument as an imminent deduction. His reading also was the most compelling as far as understanding and appreciating the logic's arguments go. However, I do think Holgate sometimes overstates his case in that Hegel admits that the entire logic is, as he says at the end of the book, shut up in thought, and in that Holgate thinks the results obtained in the logic are capable of informing us directly about what the empirical world must be like. I provided my most complete discussion of these general issues in a paper discussing Hegel's version of post-Kantian critique. The other question I engaged with was more evaluative. Uh, for a book like The Logic, it's only inappropriate to give an overall yes or no on the whole. There are many sections that needed correction, and this was a fruitful source of papers for me. Such sections include the account of quantitative relation or of identity and difference. In many papers, I presented a detailed account of Hegel's arguments in these parts of the logic, which included those two, um, defended the general account, and attempted to correct it where it went wrong. Other papers of this sort included one on the categories of something and other, and one on the category of world.